This is Station S-T-A-R, the voice of Hollywood, broadcasting a program which originates in the main studios in Hollywood, California. You will now hear from the guest announcer. Pardon me, Mr. Hamilton. I, my name is Ernest Hilliard, and I've been looking for you everywhere. You pardon me, uh, please, but I have plenty of life insurance, a couple mortgages hanging on my neck, back alimony, and a few other knickknacks. So, uh... I don't care to buy any more cats in the bag. Oh, you've got me entirely wrong. I don't want to sell you anything. Well, I'm about to take the year, so uh, you excuse me, please. Just one moment, Mr. Hamilton, please. I represent the All Year Straw Hat Club, and they seem to feel that you have worn that cap. That is a cap, isn't it? What do you mean, a little chip of butter? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's my livelihood. Well, they seem to feel that you have uh, worn your livelihood uh, quite long enough, and they want to present you with a brand new straw hat. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? I'm not going to make the station announcement. My good friends, this is Lloyd Hamilton announcing. You are now about to hear from Hollywood's most famous dietitian. I'm going to tell you how to eat and grow thin. Speak for Hello, friends. This is your old friend, Walter Hires back in Hollywood after a long waterfall tour. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you know on a little inside secret. I tried the Hollywood 18-day diet. I ate it all in one day. <laughs> no, being out in Hollywood, you don't know how lucky we are that we're so near Tijuana, Mexico, one of America's greatest filling stations. You know, we can drive from Hollywood to Tijuana in about, uh, well, about four hours, five hours in the Chevrolet. Speaking about Chevrolets, I understand that they're going to paint all the new Chevrolets green. That's so they can hide in the grass when the new Fords go by. In answer to a request from Florence Bogie of Chicago, Beatrice Joy will tell you a bad time story. It was about the famous French actress who came to Hollywood to become a great star and who left with a broken heart. Some? Will you please listen? Since I left my home in Paris, things are not what I hoped they would be. They told me by now that I'd be a great star. You can see for yourself, I have not gone far. I remember so well when I sailed for your state. My heart, it was up in the sky. But look at me now, at the studio gates. If I was not so brave, I would cry. I'd like to go back to the party I knew Just for one night like the old that would do I'd like to look down at those wonderful faces Wonderful faces <laughs> Yes, that's what I was doing when I was in vaudeville And really I was most happy Now here, Mr. Hamilton, is a very fine woven hat the beauty of this hat is that it's practically unbreakable. Yeah. Oh, a fine hat for ball games or the back see. seat of automobiles. That's a good idea. And... Unbreakable. Yes, hmm? practically unbreakable. Sold thousands of them. You don't say. Yeah. Well, that's just what I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't bother with that. Yeah. Now. Dorothy Burgess will speak. The uh, suggestion came from uh, Raymond Hulse in Baltimore. I've been requested to talk about the latest fashions over this station, so I'll try and tell you all that oh, I Ms. know. Burgess. <laughs> Ms. Burgess? Yes? Are you Miss Dorothy Burgess? Yes. Well, my name is Donald Kerr. I'm a vaudeville actor from New York. Oh. And, uh, I came out here to, to make a test, and I, I've seen you many times in New York on the screen, and I wonder if you would help me to make a test. So Why, I... of course I'll help you. Oh, gee, that's great. Tell me, what kind of a part do you want to play? 
Well, I kind of thought I'd, I'd like to play a hero part or a comedy part. Oh, but a lover is much more interesting. Yes, indeed. Oh, much. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> and I'll start with your first lesson. All right. Now, you must obey me. Absolutely. All right, now, the first thing you must do is relax. Relax? Relax. Mm -hmm. Are you relaxed? Oh, you want me to relax more? Fully. That's it, now. Now, put your arm around me like that. Like that? Mm-hmm. Tighter. Gee, this is great. <laughs> tighter. Much tighter, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll put this one in my hand. Like that? Make that much tighter. Oh, much tighter. Oh, much. Oh, this is well. <laughs> now, when you kiss, kiss, kiss this with your lips like this. Like, oh, like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> then I say to you, you got something for me. Um... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are they going to pay me for doing this? Why, certainly. Oh, they might have been in the wrong business. Come here, come oh, here. What are you doing? <laughs> to be continued. Billy Allen of Pittsburgh writes, I would like to hear one of the best voices in Hollywood, Miss Carlotta King. Don't you speak English? Yes, when you go with him for English, How dreadful. What is this, a frame-up? I wanted to sing the Song of Siberia. Do you understand? It goes like this. best yet. You uh, really like this hat? Oh, yes. I like that. And it's the first one we tried on. I'm glad you like it. I sort of uh, feel quite comfortable with it. Oh, Lloyd, what are you doing? Trying on hats? Uh, oh, no, I, I'm broadcasting. That's all. Uh, oh, uh, by the way, uh, I want to introduce uh, Miss Ruth Hyatt, uh, my leading lady and my severest critic. <laughs> uh, Ruth, uh, Tell me, uh, honestly, now, how do you like this hat? I don't like it. Why don't you try this one on? Oh, that looks great. Don't you like it? Yes, yes, yes. I like it. You really like it? Yes. Now, if any of you folks would like a picture of myself and my chapeau, you just address a letter to station S-T-A-R, Hollywood, California. Glad to send you one, and uh, send it uh, with the compliments uh, uh, of uh, your fifth. Oh, Lloyd, let's hurry. The committee is waiting to crown you. <clears throat> it's 
Just a minute. This is Lloyd Hamilton signing off to be proud. Come on. Station S-T-A-R, the voice of Hollywood, signing off.